So we are doing a Erbium laser resurfacing to Alicia. Um, I guess fall is like the perfect time to start doing these lasers again because people are finally out of the sun. Um, Erbium laser resurfacing is going to help to take off the top layer of her skin. We're going to use um, some laser energy to literally burn off uh, and dehydrate the top layer of her skin, which is going to force her body to create new cells, new skin cells. It's going to get rid of the top layer on top that we are trying to get rid of so that when she grows new skin, it's going to hopefully get rid of um, a lot of the sun damage that's on the top layer, as well as any fine lines, wrinkles, folds, all of those will get softer. Um, any sunspots usually do get a little bit lighter because part of it is getting burned off. Uh, pore size will shrink as well with each treatment. Uh, lasers are also really good, you know, to help remove premature sun damage and premature aging because it helps to stimulate collagen um, by tricking your body into thinking that there's an injury so new skin will grow and also, you know, helps to kill potentially cancerous skin cells, um, destroy skin cancer, and really just leave her with overall much healthier and glowing skin. Hopefully it should burn off some of her, uh, any acne that she's having. Um, a lot of people have been having a lot of problem with that, with the mask, even myself. Um, so she's had these treatments before, but we'll see where this gets her this time. I'm gonna use a moderate setting on her to really try to get as deep as possible. How is that? Thanks. So, the laser is forming a little white part on her skin. That's the frost. So that's actually the burnt skin. A little bit of fumes does, and smoke does come out, which is why we have the smoke evacuator here. laser is burning off that top layer of the skin by using heat so that frost or that white is the dried skin um, and then she's getting a little red you know because her skin's reacting she probably feels a little bit hot right now her skin is compromised meaning it's damaged it's open so we need to make sure that we're keeping the skin protected until new skin grows back which can usually take about three to four days um, so it's very important that at this time she keeps it clean um, and we're gonna protect it. Sometimes we use an occlusive ointment like Aquaphor because that kind of forms a barrier between the skin and the environment. Um, just so there's something protecting the skin underneath. Right now I'm gonna use actually a cooling gel. This one is uh, specifically designed for compromised post-laser skin. It's very soothing 
Yeah. <laughs> and cool. It's cold actually, so she should feel the relief immediately, almost like ice and aloe after a sunburn. I'm just putting that on her. Oh, 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 oh,